Hello and welcome, my name is Thomas and in this video I'm going to show you a quick tip for how to manually update a WordPress theme or plugin. So one of the great things about WordPress is all of the customization and functionality and power that's built into the platform, thanks to things like themes and plugins. So I'm not gonna get into the distinction or the difference between the two. If you're a WordPress user, you're probably already pretty well familiar. But one of the important things about maintaining and managing a WordPress website is making sure that both those themes and those plugins are up to date to the latest version. That's gonna be something that's helpful for a number of different reasons. Number one, you want to make sure that you always have the latest features of whatever theme or plugin that you're using, as well as security updates. Sometimes there's important patches that developers have to push to ensure that your site remains secure. Now, for most themes and plugins, there's going to be an inherent uh, updating feature built into it, meaning like right there within the appearance or within the plugins section of WordPress, you'll be able to go and update that theme whenever they are, or that theme or that plugin, whenever those updates become available. But sometimes there may be a reason why you need to manually update a theme or a plugin. The problem is that for the longest time and for most of the articles that I've found online personally, this is a pretty cumbersome proce uh, process, particularly if you're not a developer. You have to go and create a new SFTP user on your hosting environment. Then you have to get an FTP client. Then you've got to log in. Then you've got to go through the file directory. Needless to say, it's a lot easier now, particularly if you have the latest version of WordPress. And I'm gonna show you how right now. So let's jump in. Okay, so here is the WordPress dashboard as you're probably pretty well familiar with. And then you'll notice down here in the bottom left-hand corner that we have two sections. We've got one that is appearance and one that is plugins. The, the default uh, menu option for appearance is themes. And this is where you're gonna be able to see all the themes that you have available to you. The same thing goes for plugins. You'll be able to see here a list of all the plugins that you ins you have installed and then if there are any updates pending. Now typically what you'll see up here if you do have an update available is you'll see a little uh, icon up here, kind of a cycling icon that has a number next to it with the number of themes and plugins you need to update. Now for a theme that I have personally developed by the name of Notable Press, I've actually got a built-in uh, updater. So the updates can actually be manually or automatically checked by just clicking this button that says check for updates. You can always stay up with the latest because it makes it a little bit easier than what's kind of built in natively to WordPress. But let's say that maybe for whatever reason, the theme or the plugin you're using, the updater doesn't work. Or maybe you've purchased a plugin somewhere else and they don't have auto updates. Well, for fortunately, it's very simple to manually update. So let's take a look at how that works. So all we have to do is go over to appearance and then similar to if we were going to be uh, uploading this theme for the first time, you'll see that Notable Press is already installed and it is active. But to update this manually, we'll see that this is currently running uh, version 0.3.8. I do know that I now have a 0.4.7 available, which is significantly newer. So rather than going through and updating here, I can just click add new. And after I click add new, you would just go to upload theme, just as though you were installing this for the first time. So we'll go ahead and choose that. Click install now. And you'll see here that it says that the destination folder already exists. This theme is already installed. However, what it's gonna do is it's gonna show you the current theme that you're using and what you're going to be updating it to. Uh, this is really handy and then you'll be able to cancel if you don't want to and then you can simply replace with the current uploaded version and as they tell you here of course you want to make sure that you back up your database and your files they give you a link here that shows you some ways that you can do that so we're going to go ahead and click replace current with uploaded give that a moment to install and there we go we see that it has updated the theme successfully so now if i go to the front end of the website we'll see that this the sample site that i'm currently working on still looks as it's supposed to if i go over to theme settings 
we'll be able to see that it has now updated to 0.4.7. And then you can also see that by going to appearance, clicking on theme details, 0.4.7. It works similarly for plugins. Now I don't currently have a plugin that is out of date. However, let's just go ahead and click add new just so you can kind of take a look at how that process works. Similarly, we'll go to upload plugin, go to choose file and install now. We'll see again, it's gonna say that this plugin is already installed, but again, we can uh, replace with the current the current version with the upload up uh, uploaded one. And we'll see here again, this is the same version, same plugin, it's all up to date. I'm just using this as an example. Normally you would see maybe this would be, you know, 1.7. Replace current with uploaded, and we'll see that it has updated successfully. So that's it. Luckily, you don't have to go through the SFTP route or, you know, file browser route or trying to connect to the server in any way. All you have to do is re-upload that. So if you're ever having issues updating a theme or a plugin, know that you can do so manually through the methods that we have explored in this video. So if you found this video useful, hit that like button, subscribe if you're not already, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.